so I created a right hand turning tool out of a 3 8 blank and I mentioned yesterday that there is a sort of a sleeve that will fits very snugly between two gears to hold them together and I would like a way to punch that out to make changing gears not so painful so I'm going to do my first real project which is to turn this down to I measured I measured this and the inside diameter is just over half an inch so I'll turn this down to a half inch I may need to come over here this may be too small um, and uh, then I'll be able to use it to punch out those sleeves so let's take a few cuts You can see the carriage is the carriage is still moving really fast. Um, the lead screw is zipping along super fast. So after I get this tool made, I will go ahead and use it to change the gears to a, a lower gearing for the lead screw. There's a lot of flex. I'm going to do a spring cut here. And another one. So that's what happens when uh, this lathe jams up the belt, the drive belt just slips. And that's part of the difficulty of running this with the lead screw moving so fast. It's hard to stop it with the right time. Actually, I think I'll just, from now on, I'm just gonna go part way. There's no reason to go right to the shoulder here. Especially with this super fast lead screw. Let's try that again.
All right, so this is my first one, and this is I cranked the uh, carriage by hand, which is why this is so rough. You can't really get a good finish by hand, and the spindle was moving kind of slow. So two things that get going against me. As soon as I get the gears changed, I'll make another one. I'll use a higher spindle speed and a slow auto feed on the carriage and I should be able to make a better one real easily so this is how it's supposed to work put the gears and I just made a little block with a hole in it and the idea then Ah, I need to make the hole. Eh, maybe that's big enough. Because there's the key, I forgot. Okay, I guess that I guess that worked. I guess I guess my hole's big enough. I'll maybe I'll drill it bigger to make room for that key. There's room, but I have to have it lined up just perfectly, so Anyway, that's the idea behind what I'm trying to do here. So I'll get these gears swapped out and make another one of those guys. So I cut off this length of the aluminum since having that long skinny thing sticking out the end uh, didn't allow me to run the spindle at the proper RPM, which should be pretty high for aluminum, 1300 or so. So I chopped this off so I could run the at regular speed or at the appropriate speed um, and I changed out those gears actually I'm not sure if they're the exact same gears that I had when I uh, when the lathe first came but the lead screw will spin much more slowly now so I should be able to get a really nice smooth finish here. I'll have a better spindle RPM and a slower feed rate on the carriage, and I should get a much nicer finish here. Um, when I go to thread an actual thread, I'll need to make sure I've got the right gears to give me an appropriate thread, and the instructions, frankly, aren't great. So I'll have to figure that out. So here it goes. So this is the first real thing that I've made on my new lathe. It's a, just a punch to punch out the sleeve that connects two gears together in the uh, 
the set of gears on the end of the lathe which you would swap out for threading. So that's it. That was actually kind of fun. And with uh, the correct R spindle RPM and a nice slow feed rate, you really get a nice finish. And I guess my right hand tool bit that I ground does a pretty good job. Because it's a beautiful, smooth finish. When I, after I cut it off, I flipped it around and put it in the jaws, in the chuck, so I could face and round over the other end, and it got marked up a little bit. Of course, this part doesn't matter, it's not important, but um, maybe I clamped it too tight, or maybe that's just unavoidable. I don't know. Anyway, that was cool. It was fun, and I'm real happy with how it turned out, even though it's super duper simple.